Hey and good morning from Bali, Indonesia. This is a day in the life as a web designer and a content creator living in Bali for a few months. I thought it would be fun to record my day and show you what a normal working day looks like. The day started as usual with me getting out of bed, checking my phone quickly and then doing some meditation. I've been doing meditation lately to set an intention for the day which helps me to focus and get less distracted. This morning I have a meeting planned with my community manager Zara at a co-working space where we rented a meeting room. So let's jump on the scooter and let's go. I was still laughing here until I realized that it slowly started to rain. So I stopped to get my raincoat and then I dropped my phone on the floor. Driving in Bali is kind of crazy so you have to pay a lot of attention because nobody really follows the rules. I finally arrived at the co-working space and this co-working space is pretty chill. It's not so busy yet because it's quite new. They have everything you need from meeting rooms with airco to monitors, whiteboards and a really nice view. Zara helps me to manage the community of Living With Pixels because since I launched my Elementor Pro course I don't really have enough time anymore to manage all of the customers and Zara is also simply better at this in my opinion. This meeting we analyzed the interviews that Zara and I did with some of my viewers to understand what they're really struggling with in terms of web design. We are doing this as a preparation for the upcoming design course. Making a course is a lot of work and it can become overwhelming quickly. So I am super happy that she helps me with the research phase as well. Thinking about it, I would love client process because it's client related, it's money related. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, it's directly saving, like- Saving money. Saving related. money, yeah, related. Yeah. But also have, have a process to it. What do you start with? You need to start with custom post up. You're not gonna do that afterwards. That's why I tackled it early in the course before they get excited about dragging in widgets that look so cool. Like, no, this is the core of how WordPress websites work. If you don't understand that, then there's, there's, you're going to waste so much time in Elementor. Mm. After our meeting, it was time for a nice break. So I ordered some food, enjoyed the view and catched up on some YouTubers I like to watch. Then I had to reply to some emails and I checked out the new proposal that Zara sent me. That was all good, so I signed it. These views are gorgeous, but at some point I just miss having a keyboard, a mouse, a bigger monitor and a good chair. So I went back home, this time without rain, lucky me. When I came back home, my girlfriend was working on a dress. She's a fashion designer and it's really interesting to see because this creative process is so different from what I do. But I was still so heated up from the scooter drive, so I couldn't help myself and I jumped in the pool. After a quick shower, I got back to my computer and started working on my web design business. I'm trying to figure out if I should run my web design business under my personal name or that I should come up with a new agency name. After a few hours, I wanted some coffee, so we went to go and grab some coffee. The sunset was so beautiful, but I still wanted to get some work done, so we got back home and I did some more work. And then finally it was time for dinner and some relaxation. So I ended the day playing my favorite game on the iPad, which is pool. Uh, looking back at a day like this, I am pretty happy because these days I am prioritizing myself a lot more than just my to-do. I take breaks when I need to, and that just brings balance into the day. Let me know what you think about this video because this was totally different than what I normally make and then hopefully I will see you in the next video.